Hey, what is up guys? I'm Anish Patel from AndroidRoots.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at AOKP ROM for the Galaxy S4. And this ROM is actually supporting all major US variants, including the T-Mobile, US Cellular, Verizon, Cricket, and Sprint Galaxy S4 variants. Links are down below. You can go ahead and download for your specific Galaxy S4 variants in the video description. So here it is, and as you can see right away, we have an AOKP wallpaper, which does come pre-installed right here. So it's a nice pink one. I'll do a nice close-up. Um, as you can see right there, it kind of looks a little bit weird on camera from what I can see, but there you guys go. Um, let's go ahead and try out all these options. So under settings and under ROM control is where all the magic, all the options, and all the features are included for this AOKP ROM. Um, so right here under general, uh, let me go ahead and show you. Under general, you have an option for recent RAM, so I'll go and show you that. So you have a RAM bar right there under your um, uh, other applications, your recent applications right there. Uh, nice and neat. Um, always, you know, I'm always curious to how much see how much RAM I'm being used up for which specific app application. So it's really nice to have. Lock screen. You have options for minimizing uh, lock screens. Try a uh, transparent lock screen. See how that looks. Um, as you can see now, um, everything is transparent, and you can see what's actually opened in the background uh, behind the lock screen. Eh, kind of useless, but <laughs> hey, if you like it, uh, keep it. Um, also for options for volume rocker, uh, wake, and controls for your music, right there, skip a track uh, using your music controls. Uh, oh, sorry, I can't, I, I shouldn't be going back, I should just keep tapping on this little option sidebar. Um, status bar right here, you have an option to double tap the status bar to make it go to sleep, nice, um, especially if your uh, power button is broken, uh, that's a nice alternative right there there status bar slider um brightness slider so you can go and slide it across to make it dimmer or brighter nice and neat right there too let's go ahead and bring it back to the middle um yep looks fine on camera now so leave it there um also clock color to a day of the week uh font color so let's go ahead and change it to a little bit of blue so that's a nice blue and that's a nice blue up there at the clock i'll go and show you that and boom there it is um, hide battery icon to show the battery percentage. So it is at 22% right now. So I got to charge it up soon right there. Uh, so uh, signal text right there. So it's negative 85 signal. You can even hide the signal bar if you'd like. Um, right there. Um, I don't even have any uh, a SIM card in there. So I don't believe it's showing up uh, for whatever reason. Or it actually does replace it um, from what I can see. Uh, there you go. Also, speed uh, text color. If you want to show the network speed, it's not going to show up since I don't have a SIM card in this specific phone right there. And I got to stop pressing back because I keep forgetting. <laughs> I just got to tap on this little side option. Um, toggles, I like this option right here. This is probably one of my most favorite options in AOKP. Um, and no other ROM really has it. Um, I hope they imp implement it in other ROMs as well. Uh, so right here, toggle styles. And I, I, I'm not a fan of, uh, you know, sliding or actually uh, sliding down. Or, you know, usually when you have a notification or something like this, it's like this. So if you have it like this, um, you don't have your quick toggles right here. You have to tap on one extra step to actually get all your quick toggles and all that. And I'm not a fan of that. Um, using this option, you can go ahead and do traditional scrollable, which I'm a big fan of. I love this. So you just go and um, slide down, and boom, you have all your toggles right here. You can go and slide across, and it's all there, all in one neat place. So you have all your toggles up here, and then your notifications down there. And just tap on this if you want to go and remove those um, notification or uh, toggles right there. Really, really neat. I'm definitely keeping that feature. I hope other ROMs do have that option uh, soon in other ROMs available as well. Uh, I keep pressing that back button. <laughs> it's getting pretty annoying for both me and you. So that was toggles. Hardware keys, you can go ahead and change a couple of options. So I went ahead and already changed the menu. Long press is in-app search. So if I go ahead and hold on the menu key, it actually opens up Google now and I can go ahead and search something. And now I can press back um, and it doesn't even work. <laughs> Great. Uh, so back to settings and yes, press, press on the sidebar. Yes, I didn't press back this time. Um, right there, navigation bars, um, no need for them. I, you know, it's enabled kind of. Uh, you can re re rearrange the navigation bars, but there's really no way to actually, um, uh, you know, enable it or anything. I looked under settings, there's nothing under settings, and there's really no need for it since you have the hardware keys. You really, really don't even need it. Um, so yeah, right there, um, navigation ring. Um, I think this only works if you have software keys. As you can see, I have Google, Power, and Recents right there enabled. Um, it's there, it's saved. I resaved it once. It doesn't show up. I tried, you know, 
just pressing it sliding up or you know doing anything really from the uh, top bottom from, from the screen or anything it doesn't show up on my lock screen so I think you need the software navigation um, software keys to actually make that functional uh, which isn't a big deal but uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys and you have installer which really isn't anything just enable all that you'll be good to go for that so that is AOKP ROM for the Galaxy S4 T-Mobile, US Cellular, Verizon, Cricket, and Sprint Galaxy S4 US variants. Links down below, go ahead and download this ROM. And if you guys enjoy, did enjoy this quick ROM review for the Galaxy S4 AOKP, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left-hand corner. I really do appreciate all the support you guys do give me. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and my other social networks, which are also located down below in the video description. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.